Hello everybody, it's books and tea time with Adeline, or Addie, or hey you, call me whatever you want, just don't call me late to dinner, am I right? Welcome back to my vlog channel. Um, this is my second ever book vlog, reading vlog. I'm gonna start every video by reminding you that this is a companion media to my written vlog, which is a lot more articulate, has a lot more variety in terms of posts. Like all of the things here on my channel are gonna be vlog style and are meant to complement the other things that I do on my blog. Plans for the week. This week I am going on vacation i'm not really going on vacation i'm going uh to north carolina to visit my cousins because my cousin who is graduating high school this year um we didn't obviously didn't get to like go to prom or have like an actual graduation so we're going down and we're gonna like wear prom dresses in their backyard and like have a mini prom and then like have like a graduation party for her just with like some of my family and then my other cousin hey guys if you're watching this you know who i'm talking about um is uh, like six months younger than me and she's turning 21 in july so because we're not going to be able to go in july since we decided to come now um we're gonna have a 21st birthday celebration with her in the backyard and we're all gonna make like pop-up bars um and have like different drinks um and stuff like that so i think that'll be fun we're driving down which will be an experience and i'll bring you guys with us alexander is coming along and my brother and all my family will be there unfortunately we have to leave milo behind we're leaving him with my dad because my dad didn't want to leave him so my dad is not coming but we're leaving milo here we're gonna do reading in north carolina so let's get in to the books so first things first i'm gonna fly through these first four because they're continuation reads from the previous vlog that i'll have linked down below my first vlog so i was reading or i at least talked about these four books in that one so i'm not gonna bore you but i am still reading these two big boys for my research so i'm still reading the byron biography for my research it's monday did i even say that it's monday june 8th today i'm also uh actually going to start this book this week i said that i was going to start this in last vlog and i actually never started it um this is a reread for me i'm rereading uh the his dark materials trilogy by philip pullman for research and this is the third and final book in the his dark materials trilogy titled the amber spyglass another book that i am still reading i am on page 180 of how to be an anti-racist i hope you can see that and it's on upside down by ibram x kendi i hope i'm saying that correctly um i really love this still enjoying it i'll get into um the details uh, of my thoughts when I do like my wrap-up clip because I want to finish this before I leave. It's 238 pages and I'm on 180 so I think that I can definitely finish this this week that's, or early this week hopefully by Tuesday that's my goal. And then also I started A Blade So Black um, a few days ago over the weekend and I'm really really loving this. It's an Alice in Wonderland retelling with hints of like Buffy the Vampire Slayer um, and it's super funny, super weird and whimsical, just like what Alice in Wonderland World, the Wonderland World is, and I really like this. Um, I don't mind taking this with me, but I think I'll finish it before I leave anyway. Um, but if I don't finish it, I will bring this with me. But if I do finish this, I have three books coming in the mail from the Lit Bar. I mentioned them in my last post and if I get them or when I get them I'll unbox them for you but if I get them before I leave there's a fantasy book in there that I'm really really looking forward to that I want to bring with me to read but also I'm planning to finish How to Be an Anti-Racist before I leave because the next non-fiction pick that I'm going to pick up after finishing that is So You Want to Talk About Race by Ijeoma Oluo Ijeoma Oluo I think I'm saying that right um so yes i really want to pick this one up um the back says in this new york times bestseller aluo offers hard-hitting user-friendly examination of race in america which is exactly what i want and what i need so this is going to be my next non-fiction read to pair with my like fiction or fun reads um at the moment so i'm really hoping to pick this up and i will be bringing this one with me 
hopefully we'll have an unboxing in this video um we'll have some travel fun travel clips in this video and lots of books to get into also because i'm still getting used to filming and such my last vlog was a little chaotic and i apologize for that i'm still getting used to it but i feel like i forgot to say some things that i wanted to say so i'm just gonna take a moment now um to say that just because it's june 8th and the june 1st to june 7th blackout tag to pause social media presence and amplify black voices is technically over it's not over um i still plan to read non-fiction by black authors to educate myself but also to read fiction both about race and not about race by black authors and people of color to educate myself and just promote their writing and also diversify my shelf because this has been a huge wake-up call that my shelf is not diverse enough. The process of becoming a better ally, becoming a more diverse and inclusive reader is not over. It's just getting started. So that's my disclaimer about that. Also, um, books and diversifying my reading experience is not the only thing that I'm doing, um, obviously, and that's not the only thing that needs to be done there's a lot of work in my personal life and with my other white friends and family members that i need to be doing and uncomfortable conversations that i need to be having um i also need and i'm still donating signing petitions spreading awareness and also um i found this really great page that points out a lot of black owned businesses near me that i've been following and i'm really really excited um to start making a habit of going to those businesses regularly that found this really awesome juice place and a tea place because this is books and tea time with adeline um the second thing is happy pride month i didn't even uh, mention that last time and i'm kicking myself for it i'm so happy pride month um black lives matter black lgbt lives matter the last thing as i was re-watching and editing my first vlog i realized that i didn't really tell you anything about myself i apologize <laughs> i didn't even properly introduce myself i am 21 years old um my birthday's in november i'm a scorpio I don't know if that matters to you. I'm an English literature major and an Irish language minor. I have a certificate in West European studies with a concentration in Ireland. I am contemplating graduate school. My dream goal is to become a professor professor of English literature. Genres that I read most often, absolutely fantasy. Um, I read YA fantasy, adult fantasy, epic fantasy, urban fantasy, dragon fantasy, any kind of fantasy. I'll try it and I probably will love it. I also read a lot of classics. I don't really like the term classics. I feel like it's incredibly vague. But for my major, I've worked a lot with 19th century classics specifically. Um, a lot of like victorian literature some late 18th century classics so a lot of like british and victorian literature also in high school and in college i work a lot with 20th century mostly american classics i like nonfiction and i enjoy nonfiction, but i definitely if that's the one genre that i want to read more of and that i'm trying to push myself to read more of i like historical fiction um anything that has to do with mythology i absolutely love mythology my favorite video game is smite for those of you who know what that is or play it it's the only game i've ever been good at <laughs> the other biggest part of my life is right up here um i have a labrador retriever mix puppy he's not a puppy anymore but i will always call him a puppy named milo he's the love of my life and he's gonna be three years old in july and i'm gonna ball my eyes out because he's not allowed to get older but i just feel like figured you know i should probably like freaking introduce myself and let you know like who i am and what i read and what i do so yeah welcome to my channel <laughs> just a brief tuesday afternoon check-in i'm on the porch with milo it's like 90 degrees today but it's finally cooling off and i decided that i'm gonna paint my nails while i listen to an audiobook i just downloaded uh purple hibiscus by chimamanda ngozi adichie 
Hey there everybody, um, it's Tuesday night. I listened to 20% of Purple Hibiscus today and I'm really liking it. I just listened to it while I was like painting my nails. I actually went with the orange color that I had on earlier because the other ones were kind of old and dry. Um, so I painted my nails and I did just like some cleanup around the house, folded some laundry while I was listening to it. I forgot to mention this, to mention this in my first clip. I downloaded it for the drive down and back for my like trip vacation. Um, this week because I can't read in the car. It gives me a really bad headache and I'm probably driving part of the way. If you're wondering, I use the Overdrive app for all of my audiobooks and it is like connected to my local library. So I get all my audiobooks there so that I can still support my library and my book buying addiction because, you know, best of both worlds. Also, sad note, my books didn't come today so I'm really really hoping that they come tomorrow because I think we're leaving early Thursday morning like at like 5 a.m um to drive to North Carolina so I don't know if I'm gonna get my books in time but we'll see so it's okay that's my update um yeah happy Tuesday night woohoohoo I finished How to Be an Anti-Racist, and guys, this book, oh my god, everybody, everybody needs to read this. I know that I'm new to YouTube, and you probably haven't developed a trust for my book recommendations, which is fine, but please trust me now when I tell you that everyone, everyone needs to read this book. It is generally incredible, and I felt that way throughout the entire reading experience but his experience becoming an anti-racist and practicing that regularly and how it went in phases and he continues to expand this idea of anti-racism into so many different societal spheres and that was incredible there's so much research that goes into this you can tell every page is just saturated with information and ideas about how we can change uh, the state of our society but the last two chapters in particular hit me so hard it is so beautiful and emotional what he does in the last two chapters each chapter is kind of dedicated to something specific so you explore like class and that intersection between class and race and ethnicity and race but I just feel like the last two pages are just almost like a different the tone shifts and it's so much more urgent and dire i don't want to say too much because i want everyone to read it for themselves and to experience that for themselves but i will just say this book is incredible i learned so much absolutely a five out of five stars 
obviously I just I cannot express how touched and motivated I am now I just I want to learn so much more I want to keep reading and most of all I want to revisit all the places that I tagged so I'm definitely not done with my education and I am not even done with this book by any means but I will be picking up so you want to talk about race next um just to see what more things I can learn and also you know you want to read from a lot of different anti-racist authors because I'm sure there is diversity in their opinions and their strategies um and even their research just just read it please just yes so that's my Tuesday night update one book down for the week oh yeah Hello everyone. So, funny story. <laughs> I did get a package today and we're gonna unbox it right now in a mini unboxing, but this is not the books that I mentioned earlier that are coming from the lip bar. I don't think those are gonna be here in time, but it's okay because I'm only halfway through a blade is a blade so black, so I think I'm gonna bring that with me on vacation instead of um the book that I would have brought if they come in time but I wanted to do a mini unboxing of this first and then probably next vlog we'll have the lip bar unboxing um but I have my little cutesy like a uh, letter opener it's like a little pink keychain so um I did not actually purchase this myself oh baby oh baby so this is a UK edition of the Amber Spyglass, and I got this one in particular because, here I'll show you, each chapter has a little quote prefacing it in this edition, but it wasn't in the edition that I already have that I've been showing you guys. Um, I needed to have those like um, epigraphs, is that what they're called? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if that's for essays or if it counts, but there are little like um, quotations at the beginning. This book has an interesting smell. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I love this. This is really pretty. So this is what the back looks like. And then this is the front. We have the amber spyglass on the front. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Take off the dust jacket and this is what it looks like with this silvery or not silver gold embossing super hefty and nice just feels really good uh, does anyone else just love holding books you know just like how they feel in your hands that's my update um i just read a little bit of i think like i read like 70 pages of blade so black and i'm probably gonna read a little more just relaxing and then i have to pack which I'm procrastinating because I don't want to do that. So yeah, Wednesday. A nice pan of the yard. Prom in the backyard. Alexander, say hi. This is my What's date, up? everybody. Turn for your hair. <laughs> Our theme is Enchanted Forest. Puppies everywhere. This is Abby, and that's Molly. Different dogs from earlier. And that's Alexander. Woof woof. And my OOTD got a little maxi dress on for the prom. And I went all out with mermaid eyeshadow. Testing my skills. We're about to go dance to some prom music in the backyard. Super fun. Talking.
Okay, so for my cousin's 21st, each of my aunts has made a different bar to do a bar crawl through the backyard. We have the martini bar. And then over here, we've got the kids' table bar. <laughs> an Irish bar because you know Irish family gotta have that Jameson and my mom is doing a tiki bar yeah this is my cousin Grace everybody she's not the 21 year old this is the one that graduated uh, and this is if you're really smart you'll be able to tell the name this is an ocean bar because my cousin really likes Sea creatures, yes. She spoiled it for you, it's so long. So we're back at home in the bedroom for a wrap up. So um, I apologize that the clips were kind of chaotically strewn about the weekend. I didn't introduce a lot of the clips or like spend too much time explaining what day it was and what was going on just because A, I'm not good at organically filming in front of my family yet and I also felt kind of weird like whipping out the camera too much um, and B, because it was really busy so I actually didn't get a whole lot of reading in I read about 15 pages of so you want to talk about race and I think I read 40 to 50 pages of a blade so black so I didn't read while I was there as much rundown of the weekend so we got there on Wednesday night at like midnight after an eight-hour car ride Thursday was just a really chill relaxed day we went to the pool for a little bit that's where I got some of my reading done like while I was laying out and tanning swam a little bit Friday was the prom so we spent the daytime setting up in the backyard and putting things together for that string in a bunch of twinkly lights um, and getting ready for that and then at night we had the actual prom so we had a little dinner and everybody got dressed up in some nice outfits and we sang and did a little mini rigged vote so that she would win uh, prom queen um, and one of my other cousins uh, my younger cousin uh, won prom king so it was really cute and fun and then Saturday was during the day the graduation party early in the morning we got crepes which was really delicious uh, I have a clip from that um, so we got crepes, then we got ready for the graduation party during the day, um, and then at nighttime we switched modes from graduation party to pub bar crawl in the backyard, and a bunch of my aunts set up mini pop-up bars for my cousin to go through, like as though she was going um, for a bar crawl for her actual birthday because she and my other cousin obviously didn't get to enjoy a lot of the stuff because of quarantine. So. That was that, it was really fun. Um, and then Sunday, uh, a lot of my family actually left, but my um, family, like me, my brother, my mom, and Alexander, we stayed an extra day to go, oh, the lighting is weird, to go on my uncle's boat, he has a boat. So we went tubing and just like cruised around and relaxed a little bit. And then we left early, early this morning at like 6 a.m. and got back at like two o'clock. So that's my travel experience i hope you guys liked seeing some of those clips um keep leaving me feedback for what you want to see in these vlogs obviously i'm not going to travel at every vlog but whatever you want to see in the vlogs just let me know if you have any advice recommendations requests hit me up in the comments 
And while I didn't get a lot of reading done while I was there, I did finish an audiobook thanks to two eight-hour car rides. So I finished Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, and I did really, really like it. I gave it, um, I think, a four out of five stars on Goodreads. Um, I ended up really liking it. It was nice. I don't even think I told you what it was about. So the main character, um, his name is Kembili, and the story is about her and her brother, who are two Nigerian children. The story is all about the nuances of Nigerian identity, I guess you would call it. So um, there's like this divide between the Nigerian people, the native Nigerian people, over how you respond or to colonialism so do you assimilate and inter incorporate those ideas or do you sort of reject the colonialist imperialist uh enforcements so the main character's father um is christian and he really pushes them to succeed in school and to be as christian as possible and it's just i personally related to that a lot as someone who went to catholic school so i was kind of surprised to find this um this moment of recognition where i kind of understood i thought um that the perspective would be vastly different from my own and it really wasn't which is kind of nice i wasn't expecting that at all so it was really nice to interact with her character and her brother's character in that way but the whole part of the story is they go to visit their aunt who is much more traditional i think um they refer to her and the grandpa as traditionalists um or they refer to themselves as traditionalists and the father refers to them as like heathens so that kind of that's basically what the book is about that's very very general um but i really really loved it characters i gave four out of five i really liked Kambili's character the one thing um she does get some evolution but i feel like it took a little while for me to see that evolution it's really not until like the third fourth or the last fourth of the book that we really see a lot of her character growth and a lot of her change um but I did like her brother as well and her aunt uh and her cousins were kind of really funny um and their interactions and how they become friends over time so yeah I think four out of five for characters uh world and plot I gave a four out of five it was really interesting to see um or to hear about in this Nigerian community and like the culture and the food that they eat in these festivals that they host and how that interacts with Christianity and how they kind of push against each other but also inter intertwine a little bit in some ways and how those identities intertwine. Entertainment value I gave four out of five. Intellectual value I gave five out of five. Uh, timelessness I gave four out of five and my bias I gave five out of five. So I really loved this book four out of five stars um i'm glad that i was able to finish a book even though i wasn't getting a lot of time to sit down on vacation and read i think i'm like at 32 books for the year now um on my goodreads so i'm really making progress i've never been this far ahead of schedule before in terms of my goal my goal this year is for 55 books and i think fingers crossed i might be able to hit 60 if i keep this pace up also i really want to read some other books by um, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I've heard a lot about Americana, um, Peru's project here on YouTube, who I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, another booktuber, uh, has recommended that book before, and I've heard a, of a couple other books, so I think I'm gonna get another one out of the library soon on audiobook, but if you have any recommendations, leave them below for what you think I should start with. Um, if I should do Americana or something else. And for my final clip in this second ever reading vlog, as promised, I have an unboxing. These books are from The Lit Bar, which is a black owned bookstore. I think they're based in New York, but I ordered these online obviously and got them in the mail. So I am going to unbox them for you guys right now. I am so freaking pumped for these books, guys. I can't even tell you. I, have, I got three um, in this first order. And I have with me my trusty unboxing tool. Huh, you thought it was a key, didn't you? No. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a knife. Or an unboxing tool. Alright. Let's close our device here. Ooh, so. Ooh, okay. Alrighty, so a little bit of a surprise. I ordered three books from the lip bar and I only got one in this box. 
so i'm gonna have to check on that i think probably what happened is they're shipping differently like they're shipping in separate boxes but i did fortunately get the one that i wanted the most which is this bad boy i am so excited for this book you guys so um i've been seeing a lot of recommendations floating around and i was looking for a lot of fantasy by black authors because fantasy is my favorite genre so i figured i need to you know and it would be nice to have a lot of books fantasy books by black authors and this is one of the ones um it is the rage of dragons by evan winter have heard a lot of good things about it since ordering it which is kind of ironic I feel like it's super funny when like you order something or like you look at something online and then immediately you see everybody talking about it so I found this when I was just like looking on google for some recommendations and then I saw it in like three or four other lists floating around on instagram so it's a nice hefty fantasy it's a hard cover let's see what it looks like under the dust jacket Ooh, we've got a nice cool gray oh, so nice and like a little bit of oh that's upside down um like a little bit embossed on the sides here this looks so good so this is as i said a fantasy story um and honestly the title immediately got me when it mentioned dragons so there's that but also so this book is about a society that um is centered all around war and fighting and battling and this is the part that really intrigued me is like the where the magic system is sort of unique it says one in every two thousand women has the power to call down dragons one in every hundred men is able to magically transform himself into a bigger stronger and faster killing machine so they have these powers that revolve around the war um component of their society we follow young giftless Tau, T-A-U, I hope I'm saying that right, Tau, Tau, um, we follow um, him, um, who is born giftless, but he has a plan for escape from this society. He's going to get himself injured, get out early, and settle down with a simple life of marriage, children, and land. So he's planning to escape this cycle, um, and I'm assuming it's kind of like enlistment like you automatically if like you're healthy and able to fight you probably have to do that in this society so he's planning to escape that and to just have a calm relaxing life so i was really really intrigued by the magic system or this idea of kind of like luck of the draw if you're one of the people who has these magical abilities and then everybody else has to just train i'm really really excited so i will say that this is what i'm going to pick up this upcoming week in vlog three after i finish a blade so black i am so excited for this and even though it's sad that i didn't get the other two it's okay because then we'll have another unboxing hopefully next week that completes this second vlog this video we had some fun travel clips a quick mini unboxing and hopefully a new unboxing to come in the future so i hope you guys like this again leave requests constructive criticism down below um follow me on instagram because i made a highlight on my instagram page which i have linked down below with a bunch of reposts and information and sources for supporting black lives matter and also a bunch of sources for how to help black trans people especially because it is pride month leave a like and a comment subscribe if you want to and yeah thanks for watching yet another vlog this has been books and tea time with adeline thanks for watching this long happy reading happy writing and happy living Bye.